So if you've watched the two previous videos in this series, you have learned how to sync your folders in Teams into the Windows File Explorer. You've learned how to unsync those. And at some point I probably mentioned that you should never right click and delete a file from the Windows File Explorer. Um, if you do that, it will delete that as a global delete for all users. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway, even though I just told you not to. Right click, delete, file goes away. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them all. Um, try and delete this folder, but I don't think it's gonna work right now for some reason. And now you have catastrophically deleted all of my receipts for my expense report in our shared file. Uh, could be catastrophic, could be bothersome, could be annoying, but it can be fixed. So first thing that you're gonna need to do going to need to go back into Teams. You're going to need to get that file folder back up for the specific team. Uh, in this situation, we are looking at some fleet transfer team files. So we'll go to the fleet transfer team. We'll go to the files portion of it. And as we can see, those files are not there. That's no good. So we're going to get, open that up in SharePoint screen here. Ignore all the extra tabs I have available. Go ahead and open up your SharePoint screen and let's take a look at what we've got. You're going to have to do your multi-factor authentication just like any other time you're signing into this. Um, and hopefully sign in be successful. You'll move on. Keep me signed in. Sure. All right. Now you've just gone from looking at your files either in the Windows File Explorer or inside of Teams. Teams, OneDrive, SharePoint all have your files saved in the same place on the back end. Doesn't matter to you, this long complicated URL is where that file is somewhere in the cloud. I don't know where. But as you can see, there is a file storage place under your documents. There's also on this left hand ribbon, a recycle bin. And if you go to the recycle bin, you will see all of those files that we just deleted. You can select one of them individually, or you can come up to this uh, radio button here, this checkbox, and click restore, and we've just restored those files. Minimize this, and we can go back into our Windows File Explorer, and you will see all those files have been returned to there. Again, don't delete the folders, don't delete the files from here, but if you do, we can get them.